Welcome to Chillax News. My name is Bella Ha in grade 12. And my name is Hira Jung in 8th grade. From this year, SBC combined with the beat and we finally became Chillax News. <laughs> <laughs> so Bella, what are you excited about this year? Mm, I'm, I'm excited about many things, but mainly graduation. Oh, you can't wait to leave, huh? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Sure. Anyways, our main story today deals with a very serious problem affecting many students and faculty at SJA. And no, I'm not talking about the quality of cafeteria food, it's water damage. And each time JJ faces a typhoon, there's always the fear of water damage on campus. And it seems like each year it's getting worse, not better. And we like to swim, but not that much, huh? Huh? What? That timing? Yeah, kind of. For more on this, let's go to Edward for a special report. Hello, my name is Edward. Today, I will interview teachers who has been water damaged. Hello, Mr. Lishman. So, what do you think about water damage? Well, I think water damage um, is very serious. It's, it's more than just a safety health and safety issue you know water is uh, something that people slip on and when it comes from our ceiling it can get into our ceiling tiles and it can create mold which is also a very serious health issue so when do you think it will be fixed well that's a that's a difficult question to answer uh, from what I understand in order for the repairs to be made uh, certain uh, decisions need to be made by um, the the partners that we have in this school. Uh, I think that that's in process. I'm not exactly sure when it is going to actually take place. So this is a very serious issue and I know that Dr. Toscano is working very hard to uh, get the repairs made as soon as possible so that our students and our teachers and our community uh, has a safe and healthy environment. Okay. So what do you think about water damage? You know, it rains a lot on Jeju. Uh, I didn't realize we had this many typhoons before I moved here, but uh, I don't know who built these buildings, but I think that maybe they weren't taking the possibility of all this rain into consideration. Um, we have, a, we have some minor damage uh, in the high school building that I hope will be taken care of relatively soon. Um, but I don't know the exact timeline at this point. So, But if you have a problem with water, you come find me. I'll try to help you and I'll try to get a solution as soon as possible. Stay dry. Water damage is clearly a complicated issue in here campus. This was reporter Edward Kim for Chillax News. Back to you, Harry and Bella. Thank you, Edward, for that detailed report. I think we speak for the entire school community when we say, if those typhoons keep coming, Mr. Kribble, you keep on casting school. Let's be honest. I have never seen teachers so happy. Yes, agreed. Moving on to the other news. Have you ever asked yourself, what is love? Bella, have you ever wondered what is love? Hmm. I don't know, Harry. I think it has something to do with that gushy mushy feeling you get when you see someone you really like around. Um, yes, gushy mushy, well said. Let's take it to our very own reporter, Jian Li, for the segment Question of the Week to explore this very topic. What is love? What is love? I don't know. Um, I don't know. How about you? Me too. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I have no idea what to say. I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> My love is twice. Um, love is everything. <laughs> uh, the unexplainable. Love is some kind of bond that you're prepared to give everything to the person that you love. Love is pain. You know? Love is when you are in Chongju 
and you see a cardboard cutout of Soji Sub on the sidewalk and you decide to take a picture with it. I think love is an emotion that people use to excuse behavior sometimes. Well, it is love twice. It's being there for another person. It's loving me. It's loving, loving me. Neighbors. <laughs> Always something hard. What is love? I'm busy. Bye. What, what is love? Bye. Love is a figment of imagination. It's not real, it doesn't exist. It only exists in your mind. It's up here, but it's not anywhere. It's just a figment of imagination. Love is very complicated. It makes you happy. It makes you sad. It makes you go crazy. It makes you have wonderful dreams. It makes you totally gaga for someone else. What is, <laughs> what is love? Love, useless. Love is what I have in my heart for my daughters and for my family. Uh, love must be... Pure love is the most selfless act uh, that a human being is capable of. Pure love is sacrifice. Make sure that you're loving each other and your family and your parents because uh, it is really what makes us human and unique. And that's what people think about love. I think love makes the world go crazy. I'm reporter Jian Lee, and let's go back to Bella and Harry. Thank you. I think it was really interesting. Yeah, it was. What is yeah. love? Yeah. Thank you, Jian. And now for the weather, we'll go to weather specialist Beatrice So for a detailed weather forecast. Rain on Saturday, but sunny or rain, yeah! Well, that was concise. Moving on, we would like to wrap up this week's episode with an, 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 an announcement. announcement. Parent night is coming up for middle school on October 8th. And October 10th for the high school. Yes, there will be no school. Really? Yes. But students are asked to come with their parents this time to take part in the discussion. The conferences will take place in the mini PAC. And ID cards will be coming next week if all goes according to schedule. There will be a book fair on October 14th and 15th at the library. Save your money, buy a book because reading, reading is, is fundamental. fundamental. There will be a volleyball game in KS today, September 27th. And if SGA wins, they will play again tomorrow, Saturday, September 28th at KIS. That's all we got for you today. Thanks to our entire crew behind the cameras for working so hard. Make sure to stay tuned for our very special ending credits. On behalf of everyone at Chillax News, goodbye. 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 Okay, okay, at the same time. Goodbye. In this bed next to you, I swear the room, yeah, I got no sin. Great fall. And my name is Harry John in 12th uh, grade. <laughs> <laughs> weather specialist Beatrice So for a detailed weather forecast. No, I think I have to do it. Uh, this week's episode with. An announcement. ID cards will be coming this weekend. Uh, next week. <laughs> ID cards will be coming on. Uh, Next week! Uh, there will be a volleyball game in KIS today, Friday, September 22nd. And if SGA wins, they will play again tomorrow, Saturday, September 28th at KIS. Do